hello guys uh, now i'm going to show you that how we can send notification if there is any kind of update in your database first of all let me open my application okay this is the app uh, uh, so i have logged in this app in this app like my name is Bashir and this is my phone number you can see this is my document in the cloud file store this is the fcm token which i have saved from the firebase flutter sorry from the flutter app while uh, initializing the FCM, uh, so if you want to just first of all let's see the example. Uh, what will happen if I just change the email? I'm going to put this app into the background. Okay, so this is my email. If I change this email, the notification will be sent to the user that your email has been changed. Like MD Bashir. md push b2 find okay if i click on update the notification will be arrived so let's see the notification uh before that my email was bashbian gmail.com place to then md machine need to find to related gmail.com to achieve this uh we are going to you need to be uh completely uh, done the setup with fcm and uh, firestore okay uh, and the flutter local notification also it is present uh, this package is present in the pub tab so first of all just set up that all uh, setups with those two packages after that you can come to my video before that you can't uh, continue this process uh, so you have to oh, let's start the coding uh, first of all i'm going to delete the function uh, which I have uploaded before then after that we are going to start coding so just let it complete the loading the function name was email chain notifi notification so I'm gonna delete this function now the function has deleted if I go to customers, then my phone number is equal to plus my one okay. This was my document, right? Uh, if I change anything in the email, there is an email say. If I change here anything, it should not send any, any kind of notification to the user. It was no notification sent. Yeah, it was like 60 minutes ago. So now we are going to start the coding. Let me just open my VS Code Editor. <coughs> I was deployed the function here before. So I'm going to start the coding right now. You need to initialize your Firebase first of all. Like Firebase init. Type this command first of all. Yes. What you want to uh, do right now? You, you want to write the float function. So I'm gonna choose the functions here. Next JavaScript. No, already exists. I have already initialized my Firebase in it, so uh, you can also do this the same process. I'll just put no, no again. Uh, you you should uh, say do you want to install the dependencies with npm? Yes, you should type yes here. Okay, I got, I got. so let's so let's start the coding. Uh, let me go to my functions uh, after initialization of Firebase. This folder will be already created. Uh, it, you should go into the index.js. Also, uh, you need to import your some of uh, some files like uh, Firebase functions. So I'm going to import that first. 
functions functions require Firebase functions, right? Then next, we are going to uh, import Firebase admin here. Conf admin equal to require Firebase admin, right? Okay, done. So next, I'm going to initialize this admin now. Dot initialize app. That's it. The initialization has been completed. Then we are going to use. Now we are going to write the function that if any kind of changes happen in your database, so it will going to send the notification to the user. Export. Dot the function name. You should provide the function name first. So I'm going to use a different function name right now like email send notification on email chain this is very big let's do this <coughs> okay the function name will be this send notification on email chain so i'm going to write function here so take the functions first then after that for store after uh, call the collection inside the document the collection is what is the collection name uh, the customers in the customer we need to use a particular field that is the email whenever the email has changed the function will be triggered so email then after you need to choose when you want to send a notification on create on delete or on update on write okay let's uh, we are going to see on update so inside that we need a call we have to write a callback function which will be async it will take two parameters snap and common text then after that right whatever you want to do whenever you can uh, get the document updated after updation so we will got the uh, snap of that snapshot of that document here so we are going to use that snap right now so uh, store the data uh, it will provide you the two kind of data like before uh, which means you will get the data which is before the update okay that is old data so i'm going to use it here inside the old data after not before we need the data before which means we are showing it in old data so we got the old data then we get the new data which is after update snap after dot data okay this has completed okay now we are going to write the pay we are going to create a payload which will going to send to the user in the future so if old data dot email should not be equal to the new data email okay which means the old data and the new data should not be same which means you are not doing any kind of update so it will not going to send any uh, notification to the user it will be triggered but not do not send any kind of notifications to the user or something like that so next uh, uh, we are going to create a payload here so payload um, payload or payload equal to inside an object we are going to use notification parameter 
notification equals to another object inside this object we need to use the title inside the title i am going to like something your email changed change now okay let me just plug uh, plug the charger my laptop battery is getting low <coughs> yeah sorry for the device uh, now the title will be your email change now okay then will body is going to be uh, something like to replaced replaced okay then we are going to use here the new old data old data dot email then plus new data dot email okay then next song will be be something you have to use in your uh, in your flutter project the next channel channel id will get from the uh if see uh, while you are setting up this all you will get to know what is channel id and all that channel id will be the hungary it should be same uh in the app you have given the channel id for again android android channel id also the same hungary itself i'm going to put this in single quotations then next priority will be high okay we have successfully created our payload now inside the drive block i'm going to write uh, i'm going to call a function here like the response will be stored in variable uh, like just wait here then after what mean the word messaging inserted messaging we have a function called send to device so uh, device needs an array of whatever you want an array of uh, like uh, token you need to provide the fcm token this token will get uh, while initializing your fcm and flutter flutter local notifications with your flutter for uh, uh, firebase project so i have, I have already a token here which I, i have initialized when when the user has signed in into my app so i'm going to use this field here <coughs> so we'll get the new data inside that new data we also have the uh, fcm token the next payload that's it any kind of error we are going to use this console.log so this log i'm going to put the error so this is a function i guess it should work let me just deploy this function here the function name was send notifications on email change so i'm going to call firebase deploy here to deploy this functions <coughs> would you like to proceed with deletion select more will continue the rest of the uh i already have the previous functions uh deployed in the firebase 
so I don't want to delete those functions okay. so it is uh, just deploying uh, we, let me open our new a new tab and we are going to watch the functions so email uh, send notification on email change it is creating the function is created but not deployed completely after deploying completely we are going to test this function try using uh, all, always try testing the testing any physical device so that you will get to know is it working or not These are all the previous functions which I have created but this is the new just I'm creating right now. Ok deploy has completed so let's uh, take our project here sorry our device mobile device. Uh, if I change anything inside this, the notification will show different, differently. Okay. So I guess it is now. Yeah, it is working. Uh, that your email changed now. D push it, replaced to MD push it. Okay. If I change it to something else. changed again there is no notification will be sent okay your email has changed so thank you guys video has completed